I think it's 6 and 11 reads, then says Yahuwah, uh, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate and Yahuwah have removed men far away and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land but yet in it shall be a tenth and it shall return and be for eating as the teal tree and as the oak whose substance in it in them when they cast their leaves so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof so here is letting us know that uh, ten percent ten a tenth of Israel will make it a tenth is that holy seed that shall be left within the land and I'm gonna read Ezekiel 34 and 25 34 and 25 says and I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in woods. So here the people, the holy seed, dwelling safely uh, in the wilderness and sleeping in the woods. And as I stated before, there will be two thirds that will be cut off. Um, Isaiah 66, 17 says that they will be eating swine's flesh and abomination in the mouth they shall be consumed um, you shouldn't be eating swine's flesh and any type of uh, unclean animals anyway so anyone that tries to do that in the wilderness they shall be cut off now I'm going to read uh, Zephaniah 2 uh, and 3 it says seek ye Yahuwah all ye meek of the earth so we should be seeking him it says, Seek him, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, that it may be that ye shall be hid in the day of Yahuwah's anger. So, if we seek him, and with all our heart, mind, and soul, we, we may have uh, favor, and that he may hide us in the day of his anger. Um, I'm going to read. Second Baruch 29 and 2. And this is uh, the most high speaking here. He says, For at that time I shall only protect those found in this land at that time. And we know a lot of the prophets, they got, they wrote and they, they received from him in the wilderness. They always left people. You, you can do your research on that. They always left people and they went to the wilderness to write. They, they wrote on the scrolls. They, they wrote books. And they got away from the people when they went to the wilderness. So he was in the wilderness when he received that word. Let's see. Okay. This is what we should do. If you haven't already, Yahushua said, Pray that your flight be not in winter or on the Sabbath day. And that's Matthew 24 and 20. And he also says to pray and watch always that you may be counted worthy to escape the hour of temptation. And that's Luke 21 and 36. In Revelations 3 and 10, again, he says, because you have kept my commands and persevere. This is what we should be doing today. We should be keeping his commands and we should be persevering. He says, I shall also keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell upon earth. Now I'm going to go to, let's see. I'm going to read Jeremiah 16 and 11 through 15. And it reads, Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said Yahuwah, and have walked after other mighty ones, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk 
every one after the imaginations of his e of his evil heart, in that they may not hearken unto me. He says, Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall you serve other mighty ones day and night, where I will show you where I will show you no favor. So here we are seeing him um, showing us no favor in the land of our captivity and I made mention of that in, in another video um, verse 14 he said therefore behold the days come said Yahuwah that it shall no more be said Yahuwah lives that bring up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt but Yahuwah lives that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and that north you know North America it north is hidden unknown if you look behind the the Hebrew word there it says and from all the lands where he driven them and will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers so again you must know and understand how he works uh, you can I hope you've watched the other video of how he works and you can connect the dots go back over these scriptures and study them again you you can't do the word if you don't know the word and as I stated before we lean toward the law but the prophets we don't dig into what they're saying we don't dig in those books that's not in the Bible and that's that's a place where we, we fall short we fall short in that area um, the next video I probably I'm gonna have to go into some of what's going what's gonna happen during the great tribulation and it's I mean it's not good it's, it's terrible it's horrible it's the worst it's a time like no other it's a time you don't want to be in you don't want to see but we are fast approaching it and prophecies are being fulfilled it's, it's coming to pass Shalom